During the month of September here in Arizona, we lose an average of about two minutes of daylight every day. Yes, our long summer days are slowly slipping away, and by the end of the month, you'll definitely see and feel the difference. Here's why. If you're an early riser, you probably notice the sunrise is getting later and later in the morning. The sun is also setting earlier in the evening. That happens every year because the Earth itself is tilted as it orbits around the sun. And twice a year, we reach the balance point that marks the start of fall. During the month of September, we steadily march toward the fall equinox. That is the moment when the sun's rays shine directly over the equator. It also gives us equal amounts of daylight and nighttime, about 12 hours of each. And by the way, that word equinox means equal night because of the equal daylight and the equal amount of nighttime that we have during the equinox. This year in Phoenix, fall officially begins with the equinox at 1119 AM on September 22nd. Here's how this change will impact you. Right now, the sun rises just after 6 a.m., but by mid-November, it won't peak above the horizon until 7 a.m. And sunsets, they pull back quickly, too, from almost 7 p.m. at the start of September to about 6 p.m. by the start of October. Now here's something that may surprise you. The sun is actually closer to Earth in September than it was in June or July. That's because the Earth's orbit around the sun isn't a perfect circle, and it brings us about 3 million miles closer to the sun during the winter months. So why does the summer feel so hot if we're farther away from the sun? It's all about the Earth's tilt. In June and July, the northern hemisphere leans towards the sun, giving us more direct rays and longer days, even with the sun farther away. Oh, and if you love our Arizona sunsets, the good news is this. With the earlier evenings, you won't have to wait as long to catch those colorful skies. Back to you.